morning y'all how you doing so check out this beast welcome everyone <clears throat> excuse me goodness gracious you can hear it i'm back in west virginia welcome home you get a big dose of snot yeehaw welcome to friends of the feather this is my humble little channel where i chronicle my journey into micro homesteading you can read all about it down in the description box below and today we have the egg basket and look the key it has a home now isn't that lovely so it's a uh, chicken and a tune sunday and my rooster's playing a tune. Look at him. You can see him standing down there like a champion. Like the champion he is. That's right. He is. I'll tell you what. He was ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good lord, you guys. I am so sorry. Maybe I should, like, take some pills and try again. I don't think so. Anyway. Okay. So it's a bit of a mess. But this guy right here... Let me tell you something. He was a busy boy yesterday. He um he was a busy boy. I think that the I think the run I had set up was too small for him to take care of business, if you will. And he started doing this like I don't know if you just saw it right there. <laughs> but he does this sidestep thing that is I just don't even know. I don't know what to say about it. But uh, yeah, he was uh, he was sowing his wild oats, shall we say, <coughs> yesterday. Look, the, are you seeing this? I'm seeing some very odd behavior <laughs> from the giant rooster. It's uh, he's. <coughs> He's a weirdo. Watch him. Watch him. What on this earth is happening? All right. <clears throat> Goodness. Okay. So we're going to we're going to monitor this. I don't see the uh, I don't see the fabulous. Are you seeing that? Okay. All right. I have a lunatic. <laughs> uh, is that his courting dance? Is that is that a rooster thing? I've never seen her. I've never ever in my life seen that. Okay. Um. Anyway. Okay. So it's chicken and a tune Sunday, and uh, if you've watched any of these, I've talked about music a lot, and I did talk um, briefly about my music trifecta, which is Dave Matthews, Rush, and <clears throat> Tool. And oh my god, you guys, Tool is coming to Charleston, West Virginia. It's an hour from my house. I had to drive three hours to Cleveland, Ohio <laughs> to see them. Three years ago? Four years ago. Four years ago. It'll be four years in November. I took my daughter. God love her. Um, yeah, it was amazing. They played every song I wanted to hear except for Lateralis. That was the only song that they didn't play. So, that's why we have Lateralis. This is Lateralis over here. Yeah, it's Lateralis or Dale. I can't remember which one it is. They're, they're almost indiscernible at this point. But anyway, <clears throat> so, Tool's coming to Charleston. I looked at tickets. The, cheap, the cheapest ticket I could find was $287. What me repeat. $287 for one ticket. I was like, oh God, guys, I love you. I really do. Danny, oh, Danny Carey, he is, in my mind, right, the pinnacle of drumming technique. He is very, he's very good. He's very good at what he does. He is, he has played, I bet he has banged on a lot of things. Like, in his life, if you counted the number of things that he's hit with a stick, I bet it's been a lot. I bet it's been a lot, a lot. But anyway, 
<clears throat> I thought on my Sunday show today I would talk about Dave Matthews because he was the first I'd love to say that I, I loved Rush at the beginning of time, but I didn't. I didn't like Rush when it all started. I did, I'm going to be just brutally honest here. I didn't like Rush. When I first heard Tool, it felt, it just, I guess I wasn't ready to hear it. I don't know. I like, I couldn't, I, it, I, my, my ear wasn't ready for it or something. But as I have matured and grown in my, my musical interest, um, I've come to learn that those are three of probably, those three are probably in my mind the best that kind of sum up my, 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 my music soundtrack for my life. Because, uh, I think we all have that, you know, we have songs and bands and things that just really, that really hit home. And those three are mine. And, uh. Dave was the first one that I found that was that truly hit me pretty hard and profoundly and um, it was the album Crash it was um, not necessarily the song Crash but number 41 the song number 41 is the one that made me melt <laughs> like my soul melted when I heard that song and um, of course every song on that album Warehouse is really good. Um, Line Our Graves. Uh, good Lord. There's so many. They're just really good. And then Before These Crowded Streets came out. And I saw that's the first time I saw Dave was on that tour. And uh, right after that album had come out. Because he tours every year. But um, I remember walking in to um, the Polaris Amphitheater in Columbus, West Virginia, or Columbus, Ohio, West Virginia, that's cute, Columbus, Ohio, and um, we were late getting there, so we missed the opening act, which is okay, because I'm usually not too concerned with that anyway, but um, when we got there, we started walking to our, we were general admission, so we started walking to that area, and they came on and immediately started playing Don't Drink the Water. And if you're familiar with that song, it's just that first, that, that, the way the bass comes in at the beginning of that song and the way it all just starts to groove. Never forget it. I'll never forget it. So that was the first time I saw Dave. I, th I think I've seen him probably, I don't even know. It's it's not more than 10, I don't think, but I would say probably seven or eight times I've seen Dave, and <clears throat> it's really good. It's not for everyone. It's a very unique sound. I know that, and it's, but there's something about it. Carter, the drummer, is magic. Um, yeah, there's just, uh, there, there's a lot there, and it, it's, um, it's a little more complex than most music. I, I have a really hard time with a basic 4-4 time signature unless there's something really fancy to go over top it. I can't, I, I just, I don't know. There's got to be something that's, stand, that I, I was trying to explain this to upper management. I was like, this new music that's out there, nothing catches my ear. Like, it has to catch my ear. There has to be something catchy. Like, it can't just be a rehash of a rehash of a rehash. There has to be something that really grabs you, you know, like a unique, a, a unique rhythm or, you know, a, some unique uh, phrasing or just a, a cool bass line, you know, or just a really good groove or something that really makes you want to drive real fast, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff that, uh, that, that I, I can listen to and really appreciate and enjoy. But I can also chill and just listen to some simple stuff, you know. But I really like to uh, to uh, dive a bit deeper into those things. Um, so I got to see Dave. I've seen Tool once. I saw them in 2019, November in Cleveland. And um, it was on the Fear Inoculum tour. And it was so apropos. That, that whole album came out at the perfect time. Because if you read the words to the song Fear Inoculum and think about the the pandemic and that was written before that even happened so just a little thing there just look up the lyrics of the song tool 
Fear Inoculum, and then just read the lyrics to that and think about COVID. Okay, that's your homework. That's your homework, and I want to read comments about what you think on that. If you've made it this far, I will be impressed. Just saying. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Thank you, 130 subscribers. I would try to name you if I could, but everyone's so quiet. Everyone's just hiding. All right. <clears throat> that was my rant on Dave. Maybe next Sunday we'll look into some Tool or maybe some Rush, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Rush is a tragedy in my mind. Like, my love story with Rush ends in tragedy. So, yeah, tune in next Sunday for a little bit about that. Um, but, yeah, all right, guys. Chickens are well. I, if, you, if you can notice, as you've observed here for the last 10 minutes and 59 seconds or less, everyone's getting along great. I don't see the, the Favrils yet. I guess they're still in hiding. I'm going to go in here and see what's going on. See if maybe an, an egg has been laid. And, uh, yeah. So, update later today. We'll go on some more about something ridiculous and insignificant, I'm sure. Have a great one.